Principles of Cancer Chemotherapy There are three main approaches to treat the tumor of, or cancer cells. First, surgical incision. incision. Surgical incision is the cutting of or into body tissues or organs. Number two, irradiation. Irradiation is the use of high energy radiation from x-rays, gamma rays, neutrons, and other sources to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. And the third is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is the treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of cancer cells, either by killing the cells or by stopping them, them from dividing. The role of each of these depends upon the type of tumor and the stage of development. Surgical incision. It is ideal for localized, well-circumscribed tumors and not limited by tumor size. And it is limited by extension. Radiation. More appropriate than surgery for localized tumor in many locations, like head and neck. Effectiveness is not limited by tumor size. Chemotherapy. Ideal for disseminated cancers. Effectiveness is limited by number of cancer cells, that is the size of the tumor. And the main method of treatment for only a few cancers. Chemotherapy and ma malignant diseases. The objective of chemotherapy is either cure when all cancer cells have been eradicated. Remission. All clinical evidence has disappeared, but microscopic foci of cancer cells do exist. Palliation. Remission of secondary signs without appreciable increase in survival time. The antineoplastic drugs either kill the neoplastic cells or modify their growth. Their effects depend on to the balance the antineoplastic activity and the toxicity of these drugs on the host cells. Antineoplastic drugs may be either may be either cell cycle non-specific or cell cycle specific. Cell cycle non-specific is that kill resting as well as dividing cells, and the cell cycle specific is that kill only actively dividing cells. Cell cycle specific drugs. G1 phase specific, benblastin, S phase specific, methotrexate, 6 tayugonin, idoxorubicin, or 6 mercaptopurine. G2 phase specific, leomycin, M phase specific, bincristin, or benblastin. And the last is M phase, taxanes, and vinca alkaloids. The antineoplastic drug is commonly administered in various combination of drugs or the combination of chemotherapy. Increases anti-cancer activity may reduce the to toxicity or lessen chance of development of the drug resistance, dosage, and timings. The antineoplastic drugs, each specific regimen is called protocol. A protocol may use one or even the combination of five or six drugs depending upon the type of tumor, stage of malignancy, condition of the patient, and financial constraints. The antineoplastic agents are administered by oral, IV, IM, SC, intracavitary, and topical routes, and the choice depends on the individual drug and the location, size, and type of the tumor. The dosage of antineoplastic drugs is generally calculated based on body surface area, PSA, rather than body weight because of their narrow margin of safety. However, for cell cycle non-specific drugs, there are alkylating agents, anti-cancer antibiotics, cisplatin, procarbazine, camptotisins.